Today I'll be taking this tiny starter base all the way up to one of Blueprint's best base designs. Consisting of a core filled with boxes and even an extra layer of honeycomb that doubles as box space. This base is perfect for almost any size of group for your upcoming wipe. But with all that being said, let's get into the starter. Alright, so running up you want to place a square foundation followed with two triangle foundations and then you want to encase one of the triangles and the square. Once you do that you can place a wall frame with a door and then the TC. Next you want to place the box as flush as possible to the wall and then the amount of sleeping bags for your group. Once that's done, I recommend going outside and hitting a couple trees so that you can get a airlock. Which is going to look something like this. But yeah, that's the starter. I'll show you the upkeep for that quick. Alright, and when you're ready to expand, come down and do two squares off the honeycomb. And then triangles all the way around these squares. So it looks something like this from the top. Once you do that, you can wall in pretty much everything besides these two triangles. You want to do a wall frame, and then I'm just going to put roofs on everything quick. And then you can place your door, and I'm going to replace these with metal. After that's done, you should be pretty much out of space at this point, so you want to place a wall right here. And you can wall off these as well. You want to place a twig half wall with a floor and two floor triangles, or just one, and then a floor. So that it looks something like this. Once you do that, you can upgrade this, and then you want to switch to a ramp and turn it so that it's facing toward the back is facing towards you. And you can place it like that, and then on the top as well. Once you do that, place some twig, jump up, and you can place the boxes as close as possible, you might have to get rid of that door. And then the reason why I do this, basically if somebody blows through this wall, and then the box obviously, you can see that they'll have to go through an entire other wall to go through. And they can't pick this out either because we'll be upgrading that to like sheet later. So, yeah, and they can't place a sleeping bag either if they get TC. As you can see, they just can't. So, it's really good. And all you lose is basically like two boxes of space that you could throw here. But for the extra protection, I think it's worth it. Then I'm going to throw down a door for an airlock. And then place furnaces in this triangle. And window that off. And then place the tier 1 as well with another furnace and then if you want you can pick up these bags and place them inside of here. Once that is done I'm going to do a standard loot room right here. Just like so. And then come outside, break whatever twig you used. And that is the second portion of the base, so I'll do the upkeep for that now. Alright, and then expanding from here, we're gonna be going up. So you can encase this and encase that as well, and place a furnace. And I'm gonna get rid of that door since it'll be in my way a little bit. And then you can enclose this and we'll place the door back like this and then these two triangles this is where the front's gonna be so you can just go off this door here and place a wall with a window and a wall frame and then just enclose in the rest up top once that's done I'm gonna place this for an airlock and then a window and for the jump up, I'm going to place two stone foundations with a wooden half hole. And you can always pick this out later. So if you want to do twig and save yourself hatcheting out later, you can. 
And after that, I'm going to be doing the honeycombing. But before you skip ahead, make sure not to place walls until you have this bottom part honeycombed. So obviously, like, these two don't need to be honeycombed, but, like, this definitely needs to be. Because if I honeycomb this off, I can never access this wall again. So, this, I'm going to do armored. This one, obviously, do armored. This one, and then this one for sure, because you can't reach the back anymore. So, and then this one. And these two, you can always do later. So, if you want to leave these, you can. And same with this third one. So, but for now, I'm just going to upgrade them all. And at this point, you can hatchet this out and do honeycomb for that too. And then we're going to be adding the front door. So two triangles, two squares, and a triangle foundation. So just like that. And we're going to do a wall frame for the front door, followed with windows all the way around. And then in these two, you want to do the right one and place a wall. And that's going to be a locker later. And then actually, I'm going to do a triangle jump up, just like that. And then we can block this off. But don't block off everything. This one, do not enclose because that's going to be a jump up. So basically you want to place a wall right there. And then you can do a furnace and then up here. Moving on to which it's going to be the shooting floor. We're going to do second floor honeycombing up here. And then from here, you basically want to, I would start with this one, right by the front, do a door frame there, and then you can place a triangle here, door frame there, door frame there, door frame there. Basically, you just want to come to like the beginning left side of all the honeycomb and place a door frame, because it's going to be on the left side every single time. And then just fill in whether it be a square or a triangle. Just like that. So I'll show you a top view here. And then you want to place windows in all the spots. And then after that's done, we're going to have the jump up be right here. like that so then you just want to go around and do window frames metal window bars and then the vertical embrasures you can do horizontal too but vertical in my opinion is better and then we're going to be adding the doors all the way around and make sure they swing outwards so it is like this so somebody can't just jump in Next, we're going to place a wall right there with two wall frames. And later, we're going to place garage doors in here. So you got one more area. You can do this like that. And then going up to the very top, we're going to be placing the roofs. So just do a full roof. And you probably want to turn it and go kind of at an angle. And that's your best bet for placing these. And it'll look like this. And then the last bit I just want to do for the outside so we can be done with it is upgrading this first bit into sheet metal. So this is what the outside looks like and I'll get onto the deployables.
and after those deployables we are all done so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did hit that like button and subscribe it would really help out my small channel a lot but yeah have a great day everybody